Right guys, Dan Hendrickson here. I have been getting a number of requests with the what's in the bags. People seem to be liking the what's in the bags videos that we've been putting out with different pros that have maybe different contracts and things with different companies. However, some of the requests coming in have been asking to do a what's in the bag with someone that's actually paid for their products in their golf bag. So what I thought I'd do is I'd get Lee involved because Lee has paid for everything in his golf bag. Now Lee is gonna be on the channel as a regular to a point. He will be certainly involved in some of the amateur testing, which I wanted to get some consistency with that. And also we're gonna get him involved in some of the course vlogs when we get away eventually. So uh, let's have a little look at Lee's golf bag and uh, and see what he's um, see what he's playing this year. So let's start with the bag. And the bag I use is a Callaway Hydro Light Zero. And the reason I use this bag is because it is just so light. Um, it literally weighs nothing. It's so light, so it's perfect for um, go sitting on your back so it's not too heavy for going traveling it is just a fantastic bag and the reason I like it so much is because when it's on your back it sort of angles down better um, so you don't get the clubs falling out so that's the bag that I use this year and it's always attached to my bag is uh, a rangefinder and the one I use is the Leopold Leopold not quite sure how to pronounce it it's the GX44 I and this on the front allows you to measure slope which can uh, you can take off so you take it off and then that's uh just measures the distance so that's legal to use in competition this isn't ball i'm currently using is the strixon z star and i use it in yellow and that's the ball that i'm using this year um, i love the spin that this gives me i love the feel of this ball uh, and it feels soft off the pot face and around the greens as well so that's why i use the strixon z star just gives me great numbers so i'll be using that this year before um I use anything else although i have tested the avx um, which gives me similar numbers to this so there's no actual point in changing at the moment but the avx does feel softer so there's a chance i could change but at the moment it's the strixon z star and finally accessory wise we use the glove so i use the strixon cabretta leather glove love how soft this glove is um, it's my favorite glove uh, and has been for a while now so I won't be changing this anytime soon so the glove strixon cabretta z Right, so start on the wedges then. So the wedges that I use are the Cleveland RTX 4s and I use them in 50, 56 and 60. The 50 and the 56 are 10 degrees of bounce and they're mid bounce. The 60 is 9 degrees of bounce and that's also their mid bounce. And the reason I've gone for mid bounce is because of the courses I play. I can play a variation of courses between Whitsand Bay, which is my course, which is Linksy in the summer, very hard ground, very tight fairways. But then in the winter, it can get a little bit boggy, a little bit wet. So rather than having loads of different wedges, so to speak, I've gone for mid bounce, so it should give me that, you know, versatility over whatever course I play. So regardless of the course I play, I always play the same three wedges, and they are the Cleveland RTX 4. The putter I use is the Odyssey X07. And the reason I use this, it's got the Stroke Lab shaft, um, so it's steel at the bottom, graphite at the top, and then it's got a nice big thick Odyssey grip on it. Um, I use this because I like the weight of it. I like the Odyssey 7. I used to have the Odyssey 7, but it was too light. And I used to have the Scotty Cameron Newport, which was weighted okay, but I didn't like the shape of it. So me and Dan did uh, a putting lesson and we've moved into this because it's weighted correctly. It's the right shape for me. And, you know, two times out of ten, I put all right with it. So... Yes, the magic one for this year is the Odyssey X07. Let's just hope this one stays because I don't think I've got the right putter yet. So we move on to the irons uh, and I use five to pitch in wedge in my irons and I use the Orca RS10 CBs. Um, and the reason I use these is because they're lower spinning because of the way the weighting is on the heel and toe. So it brings the center of gravity up slightly. So this means it spins slightly less. I do like these. Um, I've had the shaft changed from when I was originally fitted into a Project X 6.5. Um, it gives me slightly better numbers because when I was first fitted, uh, I was quite slow, quite inconsistent. So this gives me better numbers. Not 100% convinced this is the right combination yet, um, but it's certainly better than when I was fitted because of the differences in my swing. So it needed to change but I'm not quite convinced this is the right 
combination. But we'll keep trying with it. Uh, grip I use, I've got the Golf Pride Align mid-size plus four uh, multi-compound grip. Use these on all my clubs uh, because I've got massive hands. So irons I'll be using will be the RS10 uh, forged by Orca. They are traditionally lofted. These come in 36 degrees. I've had them bent further forward to 34 degrees just for my swing and the distances that I want. So all in all, yeah, pretty happy with the head. Just need, I'm not convinced this is the right shaft. So we'll, um, we'll do a bit more playing on that one. Okay, up from the five iron, um, we've tinkered with this a little bit between hybrid and uh, four iron, but I've decided on four iron and the four iron I'm using is the Titleist 716 TMB four iron. The shaft in this is the Dynamic Gold X100. This uh, is literally the shaft it came in. I bought it off eBay for £50 and it gives me fantastic numbers so there's no requirement to change it. All I've done is change the grip to put it into the mid-size align grip plus four but otherwise uh, it's pretty much how I bought it off eBay. So you can get bargains on eBay and this one is my eBay bargain. So yep, yeah, four iron, Titleist TMB. 716. So moving up we go into the hybrid uh, and the hybrid I'm using is the Orca GS5 hybrid. I love the traditional shape of it. It's a it's like a wooded type shape as opposed to iron. Um, the face is been skied as you can see. I'm 12 handicap. <laughs> I like the face. I like these lines as opposed to um, the way this sort of bulbs up as opposed to the iron ones which have got a high toe. So I do prefer this, and I love the fact that it's matte on top. Um, shaft in this is the Tensai Blue 80 gram Stiff Flex, normal length, and the grip, standard, mid-size align grip. This is a three iron replacement for me. I did have a three iron, um, but after doing a test with Dan, we've decided to put this in and the four iron. So the hybrid of choice, um, and I think is fantastic, is the Orca GS5 hybrid. Moving into my favourite club in the bag, which is my three wood. I love this three wood. I keep saying I might change it, I might change it, but I never do. And it's the TaylorMade M6. I just love this three wood. Um, I've, I've had a couple break on me, the shafts break here, um, but I keep going back to it. And the, the shaft I'm using is the Project X Hazardous Yellow. Um, it's a 63 gram 6.5 low spin shaft, but surprisingly the grip on this is a standard size I just prefer it standard in this three wood. don't know why it's still the mid size uh, the Multi-compound align. It's just not the mid size. No idea why it just feels better as a standard grip in the three wood. so um, we're keeping it but Keep thinking to change to a sub-zero of styles to keep the spin down because this can get a bit launchy and a bit spinny. But when it comes off right, I just don't think there's anything better. This is, uh, I just can't see this changing. Just can't see it. So yep, three wood, tailor made, M6. And finally, the big stick. Here he is. My little Korean soldier from when I went to South Korea. I suppose you could call him. And the driver I'm using, uh, as if you've watched anything, will be, you'll know, is the Titleist TS4. Um, I got fitted for this by Dan, God, probably back in October time. Um, never played a driver before that. I did have an M2, but it was fitted for me. Never really got on with it. Went and saw Dan, got fit for this, had a few little swing tweak changes. Um, and this thing is a bomb machine now, an absolute bomb machine. Um, I will probably not change this for the foreseeable future unless something blows my mind. I love how clean it is. The shaft I'm using is a Hazardous Smoke 60 gram 6.0 stiff shaft. The grip is the uh, mid-size Align um, plus four. The reason I like this is it's got a smaller head than the TS3. It gives me better spin numbers, better launch. Um, don't get me wrong, I can launch it and spin it high. But when it comes to out and out distance, when I get this right, there's just nothing that compares to it for, in, for me personally. I've tested other clubs, the Sub Zeros and the um, Epic Flashes and the Mavericks. Don't get me wrong, they are phenomenal clubs, but for me, it's the Titleist TS4. So there's a quick overview of what's in my bag for the people who uh, watch me on Dan's channel. 
Um, so you'll know that when me and Dan are playing again, that's the clubs that I'll be using in the future. So I think all that's left for me to do is to hand back to Dan. So thank you for me in my studio. Here's Dan back in wherever Dan is. So there you go, there's a little what's in the bag with Lee. Really important from my point of view to share with you those that are gonna be on the channel and involved in course vlogs that you get to see what clubs they're gonna be using. Now for Lee and I, this started with a driver fitting. Lee came up to Torquay for a fitting stroke lesson with me on his driver. We built him some confidence in a club um, that has really kind of helped him with his driving. I mean, you've got to think Lee didn't ever use a driver coming up into this point. He was really not comfortable and confident, which is why he used his three wood a lot. We've built him some confidence in that. And then on the back of that, he then came up for um, to do the six month program with me, which during that time we went through his whole golf bag putter. We changed the putter that he was using. He wasn't happy with the Scotty Cameron that he had. So he's traded that in and got himself a new putter. We, we've discussed the golf ball. He's still experimenting with the golf ball. We've been through a different couple of different options for him on that. Right the way down to his golf bag as well. We discussed that and um, he got himself a, a slightly lighter bag than what he was currently using for the oncoming trips that we're gonna be doing. We then talked about his the shafts and his irons. We talked about the, the, the sort of hybrids or a long iron, which one should he be using? We've done lots of tests on those. I think it's really, really important that you go through a kind of what's in the bag with your own pros. I think it's good that you can build some confidence with your coach or your, or your head pro at your golf club. I think, by you working together, you can start to build the right golf bag for your game. Let me know, put your comments down below. I'd like to hear what your clubs you're using. Have you been through a process where you've uh, worked with your home pro? I'd like to hear what you have to say. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring that bell. If you ring that bell, you'll get some notifications of all the videos that start to come out from us here. And as always, stay safe, and I look forward to catching up with you again soon.